Hello, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Excellent, yes. I'm Andrew Gibson. I am a front-end engineer at the Texas Tribune, and I'm going to share with you a few highlights from our pre-ISOJ hackathon on the topic of building news credibility tools. First of all, any hackathon participants in the house? I think I saw a few. Yep, there we go. They're scattered throughout here. Um, excellent. First of all, thank you all for, for uh, participating. Um, so what do we exactly mean by news credibility tools? Well, we actually made this topic kind of intentionally vague because we really wanted to see the creativity of our participants. But in general, it meant, it meant the following things. It meant we wanted to see projects that addressed the idea of making it easier to identify reliable news content, uh, making the news gathering process more transparent, and making it easier to fact check news content. So overall, we had really, really great turnout at the event. This is just a kind of a small snippet of the people who were there. But uh, we ended up having six teams um, in the five to seven range. Um, interdisciplinary, we, we combined journalists and developers and designers and data people. Um, started the morning with some project pitches around 9 AM. And then teams had pretty much all day to work until about 5 PM when they presented their ideas, their projects, and the judges uh, picked the winner. So we had the cliche uh, hackathon exorbitant amounts of coffee, which were consumed at a voracious rate throughout the day. And we had lots of great brainstorming with sticky notes and poster board and Sharpies galore. Um, and I have to say that by the time uh, 5 PM rolled around, we had six very, very impressive projects. And I'm going to give you a brief rundown of those right now. So we had Metafact Media, which was an extension of an existing website. Um, that website is uh, health, news, health News Fact Checking. Uh, and this team actually aimed to kind of do, extend that project and make, make it more accessible to uh, reporters in their day-to-day -day work. We also had Wildfire, which was a browser uh, or Chrome extension that, let's say you're looking at a tweet with a news article linked in it. What it does is actually give you an idea of whether that article is reliable. Very cool. We had Newsbet, which was kind of a quiz take on the theme. And uh, what this does is readers are presented with a series of, of snippets from news articles. And it's up to them to decide whether the claim in that snippet is reliable or not. And they're given a score at the end. It's a very cool project. We had News Integrity Grade, which this, what this does is take a look at the links in news articles. And then look at the things that those links link to, and so on and so forth. And based on that, kind of create an integrity grade for a news article. And lastly, we had our winners, which were Nutra News. So if you think about uh, the nutrition facts label that you find on your food, well, what this team did is actually create a label, uh, a nutrition label for news articles based on its contents, who shared it, who wrote it, um, and you know, basically tells you, is this a healthy article? Very cool. Um, we also had News Trust Box which was a way, uh, a snippet of code was the end result, which you can drop in a news article. And uh, when you open it up, it has kind of behind the scenes information about how the article was created, including source documents and actually audio snippets of, of the reporters saying, um, yeah, this is kind of how this article was made. This is how we went uh, about reporting it. Another great project. Um, we had a wonderful panel of judges as well, which I um, was very grateful for. We had representatives from our two sponsors, Walmart Technology and Microsoft News, um, also KUT, and um, uh, Robert Quigley, who may be in the audience somewhere here, uh, from the UT Austin Journalism School. And they were asked to score the projects on these four categories, relevance, creativity, difficulty, and sustainability. Um, sustainability, in my opinion, being perhaps the most important, meaning could this project live on post-hackathon kind of in the, in the real news world. So again, here's a little a look at our winners. Not the best photo, but this was the nutrition label for news team. They walked away with uh, six Microsoft Surface Go tablets. I think they were all very excited about that. Um, and just to kind of wrap up here, uh, a few takeaways from the event. I just want to say how impressed I was with the projects that were created. Many hackathons are two or three day events. This one was one day, basically from just nine to five. And the work that was accomplished in that amount of time was really, really impressive. Um, I also want to point out that the multidisciplinary teams seemed to excel. The people who really embraced bringing together journalists and designers and developers. So I thought that was very cool. Um, also, journalists are a very, very valuable asset in hackathons. Um, certainly this one, because it was news themed. But they're also they're great communicators. They help keep, uh, keep their teams on task. Um, very, very important. 
And lastly, I just want to say that planning hackathons is hard. And for that, I want to say um, I'm, I'm so grateful for everybody from UT and the ISOJ team who helped us plan this event. We really got a lot out of it, and we hope it can become a tradition uh, before ISOJ going forward. That's all I've got. Thank you.